We are here today at St. Catherine's Monastery in Mount Sinai, Egypt. We came here to talk about Virgin Diabolos and child between St. Theodore and George. It was made during the early 7th century. It was made out of a caustic on wood. They also used wax to try and make the colors stay longer. The Byzantine would use a caustic on wood because it has been a tradition of panel painting in Egypt. And it would go back to the Romans when they used this method. The patron for this painting is a gnome. The painting looks beautiful and it looks like Mary is sitting on a throne with her son on her lap. It also looks like Mary is being protected by St. Theodore who is on the left and St. George who is on the right. Above St. George and St. Theodore are two angels who are looking up at God's hands. The painting is rather small compared to other paintings we have seen in history. The purpose of the painting to be small. It was used to be carried around anywhere and people would pray to this painting. We can also tell that this is created by the Byzantine Empire by looking at their legs. They have pointy feet. It looks like they are floating in the air. The artist is unknown, but the way the artist painted this piece, they made everyone look like they are compressed into each other. The artist also made everyone look like they are modeling in some way. The artist also made the drapery around Mary's knees with detail to show that the drapery falls between her legs. It also makes the drapery look like it has shadows. Mary has her eyes averted and not looking at the viewer. St. George and St. Theodore look like they are standing stiff and are looking at the viewer as if they are expecting something to be received. The two angels are a light that looks upon the world appearance. During the early Byzantine Empire, it was the era that Constantinople built or restored more than 30 churches. For example, one of the churches they fixed was the Hagia Sophia when the Byzantine was formed on the eastern side of the Roman Empire empire after its fall in 476 AD. During this time period, churches would display mosaics with frontal figures on gold backgrounds. They also included icons which were popular during this era. Since icons were so popular, it later led to concepts of iconoclasm. These are a few examples of iconoclasm that was happening during this time era and they were starting to be popular. The, vir the Virgin and Child Between Saints um, was, a, was placed in a medieval monastery. Since Iconoclasm was starting to be popular, it mostly caused people to cause war. The war later traveled to, eastern s to the eastern side this war killed two-thirds of the Byzantine Empire. This war persuaded the Emperor Leo III that God had punished the Christian Roman Empire for its idolatrous worship of icons. Emperor Leo III later prohibited icons. The painting of, Vir of the Virgin Theotokos and Child Between Saints George and Theodore are the artist put on halos are Mary, George, and Theodore because the artist wanted to make them look like they are more important than the two angels and God. It also shows how they are supposed to be more powerful than God and the other angels. Another fact about the Byzantine painting would have to be that they would paint people on a gold background. They do not add details to it, that it makes them look like they are floating in the air. Another detail about the painting is that there is light shining on Mary's, on Mary where God's hands were reaching out. The reason why everyone looks and is painting compressed to each other is because of how the icons is supposed to be small because of how people would have to carry it around with them to pray. The artist was using the small frame for the icon because it was modeled after murals of or mosaics because Byzantine churches would use this method during the Byzantine era. Most of the backgrounds has little details and are compressed. They also added details to the two angels by adding veins to them.